Nate, you were our first player of the game of the year, and now you're our last for the regular season. How does it feel to come out with a victory against your arch rivals? Oh, it feels great. You know, we had James up 48 on him last time, and we wanted to get a big win for our seniors for the last, possibly the last home game. You led the way with 17 points. What was just working for you, really, throughout the whole entire game, scoring in every quarter? Um, my teammates, you know, everyone was sharing the ball. They got me open looks, and after I hit the three, first few three-pointers in the first quarter, I knew I was going to have myself a game. So this helps the Fighting Islanders now at least get the third spot in the section and really be able to just to help out in terms of playoff seeding going forward. What type of momentum were you guys just trying to build after the win against Peters and now this one? Um, after those two games, you know, we could possibly get a home game since we won this game, and that's just a huge, huge momentum boost for us coming into the playoffs. A very raucous crowd here tonight, full house for the student section, and Bethel even brought a student section. What was it like to be able to have your student section and your team be able to come out on top? Oh, it was great. You know, we finally have a winning season, and it's great to have people come follow us and come watch us play. Nate, appreciate the time. Yep. Good luck the rest of the way and into the playoffs. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here on the Fighting Hounder Sports Network,